I'm going to use this animation to describe an ionic compound and an ionic bond. When an ionic compound forms, electrons must be transferred between atoms. In this particular case, I'm going to show you the formation of magnesium fluoride. When a magnesium atom loses two electrons, it becomes a cation. Fluorine becomes an anion when it gains one electron. So the idea is electrons are transferred from the magnesium in this case to the fluoride. When that happens, uh, magnesium becomes positive. It's called a cation. And fluoride becomes negative and it becomes an anion. Magnesium is positive because it lost two electrons. Fluorine becomes negative because it gained one electron. Now the formation of the compound can also be described like this, sort of on paper if you will. Magnesium atom loses two electrons, that's why the two E two electrons are on the right side of this arrow. So as a result, when magnesium loses two electrons, there are the two electrons and now you have magnesium with a positive two state because it lost the two electrons. Fluorine, on the other hand, gains one electron. Each fluorine atom gains one electron. That's why the one electron is on the left side of the arrow. And as a result, you get fluorine with a negative one charge, which is actually called fluoride. Now I drew two reactions of fluorine gaining an electron because these two electrons that magnesium gave up are distributed between two fluorine atoms. So when these two atoms come in contact, magnesium and fluorine, this electron transfer occurs you're left with these three ions here, magnesium 2 plus and two fluorides. And what they do is they form this compound called magnesium fluoride right down here. That's the formula. Now notice there's no charge written on the formula. But if you were to dissect the formula, the Mg really is an Mg2 plus and the F subscript 2 really means that there are two fluoride ions. So also you can see that the charges cancel out if you sum up the charges. Positive 2 plus 2 negatives equals 0. That's why there's no charge written on the formula. Now the formation of the ionic bond comes about because of the electrostatic or opposites attract attraction between the positive and the negative ions in the ionic compound. Again, an ionic bond is simply opposites attract like bond. It's called electrostatic.